All right, thanks for visiting. It's Ryan here again. I'm going to show you in this video tutorial about how you can change the name servers at GoDaddy.com. I'm going to explain what that is in a second. Some of you may, uh, this may be new. For some of you, may this may be old and you're just trying to figure out where you can do that. Um, so have a piece of paper and a pen handy. And as always, uh, you can find our videos over at GDTutor.com. And up in the right-hand corner, maybe, depending upon uh, where you're watching this video, off to the side here a little bit, you should see a link over to our GD Tutor that will quickly take you over there. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me explain what this process is and what it really means. You can have a domain name at any registrar you want. You can also get hosting at GoDaddy, but for some people, maybe due to the specifications of what they need for their website or the software that they're running, they need to use GoDaddy doesn't offer it, let's say, for example. It doesn't happen all the time. In few circumstances, it does. But let's say, for example, this is how it needs to work for you. You've got your domain name at GoDaddy. You're going to have to get hosting at another company, and I'll say XYZ Hosting Company, for example. When you sign up over there at XYZ Hosting, after you sign up and you enter in all your information, they're going to give you your name servers. And they're going to look something like this, ns1.xyz hosting company and ns2.xyz hosting company. Keep in mind that this part right here will change depending upon what company you're with. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go into GoDaddy, and we're going to have to plug these these numbers in over to where your domain is so it can start working. So let's go ahead and get started. When you first log into your account, you're always going to go over to the left side. You'll see My Products over here. If you don't see it, click on My Products and the white links will show up. You're always going to want to go to the Domain Manager. Don't click there because it won't get you where you need to go. I always recommend going to the Domain Manager. And when you click on it, it's going to load up your Domain Manager. And you'll be able to see that right here. You'll see your list of domains here. They'll probably be going down the page as you buy more domains. You'll see the expiration date, the status, some of the features regarding it. All these icons up here are currently uh, grayed out. But as soon as you check mark the domain, and keep in mind if you have 100 domains, you can check mark all 100 of them. And these you can quickly do stuff with all 100 in one bulk shot by check marking them all and coming up here and selecting what icon you need to do stuff with. So I'm going to check mark the domain. I'm going to go over here to name servers. And once I click on it, a pop-up will look. Well, let's see. It's telling me my timeout session is about to expire. Okay. So what it's going to ask here now is I've just clicked on. Let me go back to it again just so everyone can see what happened. I'm going to click on the name servers icon. I've got my domain back marked. And here it comes. Okay, here it comes. Stretch my a little bit here. Here's where the name servers are. The ones that you're going to want to do is if you're hosting with another provider, not GoDaddy, you're going to want to come down here. If you're hosting with GoDaddy, you're going to want to come in here and select, I have a hosting account with these domains or this domain. But if you're hosting with someone else, you're going to click on this. And when you do, some pop-up windows will load up. They're currently defaulted to GoDaddy's name servers. But what you're going to do is you're going to type in the, one, the ones that the other company provided you. So I'm going to type in, for example, like I showed you in the beginning. I'm just going to highlight that. I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to put in the second one. Remember, it was NS2. Depends on what the other company gives you. And I'm going to click OK. And when I do that, the DNS is going to change for this domain. It's going to, now it's going to be working to be able to allow your website to be hosted with the other company. And it'll take probably, I don't know, uh, anywhere from a day to two days for your website to go live over at the other company. But now that you've done this, the only thing you need to do now is go over to that hosting company and upload your files over there um, to the server, and then just wait, and then your website will go live. So that's all I have for you on this video. 
Uh, I'm going to be adding more. And thank you. And you can find more videos at gdtutor.com. All right. Take care.